always to find the way to, to share something that people are not ready, especially in Spain. That's why it's super difficult to, to convince the directors of the theaters, the spaces, to, to make this possible. But it's a beautiful fight, and I fight with love and hope. And here we are, all of us. So I'm so yes. Uh, I think when you when you come to a city and you perform there um, with your creation, with something that you deal with since a long time, it's um, important and also um, always very enriching to meet the local artists. Um, and my master classes are also more about an exchange. I kind of let uh, people have an insight in how I create, how I conceive uh, choreography. Um, and what like motivates me to do um, what I do. Voguing ist ein Tanzstil, der aus der New Yorker LGBT-Community kommt, spezifisch aus der schwarzen und Latino-Community dort in New York. Es ist eine Kultur, die sehr viel mit Empowerment zu tun hat, sehr viel, dass man sich selber präsentiert, dass man sich selber mit sich selber beschäftigt. Hey! It was actually quite surprising to hear Africa Moment, because Africa moment in Europe and this is always what I talk about. Black man crying, white man smiling, I'm not caring. Yes, let me say I'm the preservation of this moment for future memory picture. Chombo Trop, which is very, it uh, sort of sp uh, preaches the same message of boundaries, issues and connections and all that. So it's the right platform also for us to be part of. fashion as an art, and art should be able to interrogate issues, it should be able to tell stories, it should be able to have emotions. Uh, I think African fashion is, is a bit unique and different. It involves a lot of craftsmanship, workmanship, community, but also uh, most of the, the materials, that, the materiality that we work with is usually very uh, organic and very natural. And, and which I think is the context of today, you know, where whatever we do has to be conscious with the environment, the environment that we live in. Und was das Thema ja spezifisch äh, behandelt ist äh, cultural appropriation, also kulturelle Aneignung. So Wem gehört Kultur? Gehört das überhaupt irgendwem? Und was ist mit Leuten, die mehrere Kulturen haben? Zu, wozu? Fühlt man sich hingezogen? Ist es was, was einem so, was sozialisiert wird oder was mit der Herkunft kommt? Before you know where you're going, you need to know where you come from. With appropriation, we are sampling. And when you sample something that is traditional, you create something new. And that means that that something is obviously into the future. <lacht> Um, there is not one idea prevailing other ideas. It was an encounter and everyone has a very rich artistic background and he it's kind of dropping the material into the in the middle and then we see what happened. <laughs> other creatives from different parts of Africa here because that happens more often that you, more African creators meet in Europe than in the African continent itself. So that tells you something, that it's bringing and bridging uh, several boundaries that are well not possible in a normal African context. And 
and uh, it's a great moment, I would say. Yeah.